Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Taurus? I want to wish you guys all happy holidays. I wish you guys the very best for this year to come. Hope you guys are excited. A new year is a new opportunity. So being excited about that. <laughs> Also, for those of you guys that are interested in personal consultations or any of the services that we provide, you can go to our online store and purchase that on there now. It's more productive and easier for you guys to do so. Um, also, you guys stay definitely tuned for the uh, tarot, um, tarot series that we just released. We're going to start this Sunday. Um, we're going to be teaching you guys how to interpret the cards. So let's get into it. Um, Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Please give me the energy of the person they're dealing with, their actions, and clarify their actions, please, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this month of December 2021. Also, you guys stay tuned for the January uh, yearly readings that we do. We've been doing that for the past three years where I'm going to give you guys a glimpse of what is unfolding, how the planet alignments are going to assist or hinder your sign uh, for the year of 2022. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Love, and Romance. One more shuffle. All right, here we go. So you have the Seven of Swords. Taurus, you're dealing with a person that is not being completely honest or transparent with you. Uh, they could be keeping secrets or be... Uh, you're being kept hidden or you're being kept um, in the dark about a situation uh, regarding this connection, okay? Now, your next card here is the Four of Cups. So this is the action that you're, they're taking towards you for the month of December. And the Four of Cups does indicate um, a missed opportunity. But more than that, it's like there is an energy of taking you for granted, Taurus. And I feel like this could be something that you've been experiencing for a while now because of the seven of swords so there is a situation that they're not being completely honest about if you've been noticing that your partner has been pulling back or perhaps not communicating as much or not really reciprocating your energy the four of cups does indicate to me entertaining other possibilities um it's speaking about uh, being bored or feeling like they are being caged in the connection. So they're seeking some type of adventure. Seven of Swords usually indicates their party type of energy for me. Now the next card here to clarify the actions is the Seven of Wands. Yeah, they're extremely guarded. I don't see them coming towards you for the month of December. If anything, I feel like you're the one that's going to be doing the chasing my advice. Um, pull your energy back, Taurus. Um, focus on yourself, focus on doing you right now, because I feel like the person you're dealing with is being extremely confused about what they want, and it could have to do with them dealing with someone else or putting their energy somewhere else. Um, I don't see them being transparent uh, in regards to uh, this connection, so I don't want you guys to really um, waste your time or, you know, stop the chasing don't 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 try to you know extend your energy to them because i feel like it's not going to be well received with the seven of wands extremely guarded it's like an energy of whatever it is that is bothering you and you try to address that or you try to conversate with your partner about it they become extremely defensive and quickly turn the situation making it seem like you're the one that's at wrong for feeling the way you do instead of them acknowledging your feelings so again i feel that whatever however you're trying to express to your partner or person of interest i feel like it's falling on deaf ears um because they're again being sneaky um not being completely honest the eight of wands does indicate to me um like i said communication that is uh, that they may be dealing with on the side uh, this could be through social media. This could be a person that they're communicating through text, not necessarily on a physical aspect. Um, but I feel like their passion or their desire is not fully focused in this connection, but elsewhere. So be mindful of that. Now I'm going to be pulling out a Oracle card. 
Spirit guides, please clarify for us the energy of the person or partner of Taurus, the person that they're dealing with. What intentions are there coming into this? What is it that Taurus needs to be aware of at this present time? What is it that Taurus needs to be aware of at this present time? You guys, I lied to you. So I feel like you're dealing with a situation where perhaps they have you lingering. They have you wondering or thinking, being on suspe uh, suspense mode, um, not really knowing where this connection is going because they're not being honest with you. I feel like whatever little, it's almost like they're telling me that they are breadcrumbing you. And the reason for that is because they don't want to miss this opportunity, meaning if the grass is not greener on the other side, they want to know uh, or feel like they're safe uh, being able to come back around. Um, and that could be the reason why they're not being completely honest with you or they're not being transparent with you. Um, my advice is if you are dealing with this type of situation, don't sit there and wait for them to uh, do something that is going to change the way you're feeling. You need to pay attention to your intuition, Taurus, because I feel like the more you prolong this, um, the more hurtful it's going to be for you, especially if you're putting your hopes or uh, wishes that this situation might turn around. Um, I can tell you that this person is extremely guarded or extremely secretive about their life because they're playing the field. They're not being honest with you. They're not being transparent. And you deserve better than that, Taurus. So again, pay attention to your intuition. Stop sitting there waiting for them. I want to wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.